So in a sense, we flush our brains twice a day. All right, y'all. <clears throat> This is in reference to those Bible readings when you reach the land of milk and honey. The land of milk and honey is referencing your cerebral spinal fluid. Um, when it comes to the breast milk of mothers, it is white like breast milk. And then also when it's the actual spinal fluid, it looks like honey. As you squeeze these muscles, you begin to push that cerebral spinal fluid up. This is known as taking that fluid up your Jacob's ladder, which is your spinal cord, uh, to the land of Penal, or I forgot the other translations, or whatever your Bible says the land of Penal is, but it's your penile gland. And as you begin to hold your breath, you're pushing the cerebral spinal fluid right up against the crystals of the pineal gland and applying a mechanical stress. And then the mechanical stress begins to electrically activate those crystals. And when those crystals become electrically activated, we are turning on the radio receiver in the brain. Now, take a look at the ventricles in your brain. See, when I say we're evolving uh, into a crystalline structure, it's not like we don't have the crystalline structure within our bodies already. Because of what happened to us in our inquisitions and in indoctrinations, a form of epigenetics happened, meaning that the way that we were taught, the way that we were uh, disrupted in our generational traumas, it led our body to grow uh, or actually not grow at all it kind of left us dormant and dead that's why we're asleep we haven't fulfilled the the true applications of the body because of how we were taught and the things that were done to us what you're doing now is you're delivering energy into the brain by electrically activating all day baby 